I really can't remember the uh, first article that uh, I got that thought from, and that is slowly, systematically building up your dividend portfolio so that you are able to own a hundred dividend paying stocks and each one of those stocks is paying you five hundred dollars in annual dividends i've done that with a company called one oak i've done it with abfi i'm almost there with exxon mobile and there's several i'm not giving you my entire portfolio now but uh, there's several other stocks that I am in different stages of systematically accumulating enough shares in those stocks. And once I have enough shares in a specific stock, say Abvi, I I'm no longer buying shares in Abvi. I'm no longer buying shares in one oak i'm now pooling all those dividends and pushing them towards other uh, stocks stop sign i've got to pay attention to the stop sign so that's uh, basically uh, what that concept teaches you won't get there overnight building wealth Building passive income is a three-decade proposition. Once you get your mind to the level that, okay, this is a three-decade goal. This is a three-decade race. It's, it's not something that will be accomplished, achieved in a month, in a year, in five years, even in 10 years. But you systematically convert your paycheck into quality dividend paying stocks. You will not be. <laughs> I have mentors that are living proof, living proof that this works. GPD, those are his initials, GPD, uh, talked to me very early in my investment journey about his uncle. His uncle was in his early 70s. His uncle had retired and his uncle was earning over $100,000 in dividend income. When you have living examples like that, I don't care what other people say. Blue collar millionaires that are able to generate over a hundred thousand dollars in passive income because they lived frugally, because they invested wisely, because they weren't chasing the latest hot stocks. You know, listening to my mentors like GPD, he'll say it's more important that you invest in Colgate or in Kimberly Clark, manufacturer of toilet paper, in Procter and Gamble. It's more important that you own essential utilities, which is basically a sewage treatment company. Can your town you live in survive? without a functioning sewage system. That's how these individuals think. Uh, I remember having a conversation with my dentist and my dentist was telling me how his aunt, a widow, was living a phenomenal life on the dividends that her husband had purchased in Duke Energy, a utility company. So the examples exist if you're willing to look for them, if you're willing to learn, and if you're willing to do what most investors will not do. How old is Duke Company? How old is Con Ed? How old is Southern Company? Will we overnight stop needing utilities? I mean, Exxon Mobil and Chevron, that's over a hundred year old company. 
I'm driving a car right now. It's not electric. You know, even if the transition occurs, the, 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 the uh, tractors on the, on the farms, the semis that go down the interstate, the, the trains, will they all immediately convert to electric? And if they do convert to electric, good. You own six utility companies in your portfolio. Remember, we are slowly, we are systematically, we are intentionally diverting 10%, 15%, 20% of our income into quality dividend paying stocks. You can do this, my friends. Have a wonderful day.